For this section of the course, we'll be using this short presentation that I've set up. It uses the photo essay theme, and right now it has eight slides. Notice that I'm using the title and subtitle master slide for the first slide here. But I've modified the background to show this sunset image. And I've only retained the title text box, no subtitle. In many of the slides here, I've started with the master slide, but adjusted it a little to get the look that I want within the slide. Slide 7 has been modified quite a bit. I started with the title and bullets master slide, but added a photo to it, and moved the bullets text box up a little. So for this one, I'll probably want to edit the master slide, and save this as its own master to use again. So if I play this presentation now, to move from slide to slide, I need to click or hit the spacebar. And as it moves from slide to slide, there are no transitions, it just flashes from one to the next. So let's add a transition from slide one to slide two. I need to make sure the slide I want to transition from is selected. Then go to the Animate panel here and add a transition effect. There are a wide variety of effects here broken up into a few categories. I'll start with a simple wipe transition. After I choose it, I get a quick preview in Keynote. To see that again, just click the Preview button here. Each transition will have some options available that can adjust how the transition will look or act. For this transition, I can adjust how long it will take to wipe across the slide. It's pretty quick now, at just three quarters of a second. I'll change that to two seconds, and then click Preview. I can also change the direction with this menu. For this sunset photo, wiping from the top to bottom would probably work well but I can go from the bottom to the top or from any other side or corner. The start transition and delay controls are available for every slide. I can set these even if I don't have a transition added. The start transition menu lets me decide if I want the slide to advance only when I click, or if I choose automatically, I can set the amount of time until the transition will begin. So if I set the delay for 5 seconds, that means that this first slide will only display for 5 seconds after I start the presentation, before it transitions to the next slide. Let's do an on-click transition first. I'll play the presentation, and I have total control over when the next slide comes in. Click or hit the spacebar, and the transition to slide 2 begins. Notice that the slide thumbnail gets a blue marker in the lower right corner to let me know it has a transition added. Now let's switch to an automatic transition after 5 seconds. When I play the presentation, I don't need to do anything. After 5 seconds, the slide will transition on its own. When the slide transition is set to automatic, there's no way to advance it manually and still have the transition play. I can press shift and the down arrow to advance to the next slide while skipping all animations and transitions. Let's try a few other transitions. I'll add one to slide 2 from the flip, spin, and scale section of transitions. As I look through this list, there's a preview button that appears to the right for each transition. Click this for a quick preview while the menu is still displayed. This allows you to quickly get an idea how each of these transitions will look. I'm going to choose color panes. Again, I have direction and duration controls. Click change and I can easily switch to another transition. This time I'll choose the twist transition.
With this one, there's a duration and direction control, but also a twistiness adjustment. This controls how much the objects within the slide will get distorted. Now let's look at one of the object effects. These transitions can affect separate objects on the slide, each a little differently as far as action and timing of the transition goes. I like object pop. Next we have the text transitions, shimmer, sparkle, and swing. For these to work, you need to be transitioning to or from a slide that has text in it. The text transitions only have duration control. I'll add some more transitions to the slides that don't have any yet. And then we'll take a look at the presentation with all the transitions added. Remember, all the transitions are set to occur on a click or press of the spacebar right now. The slides won't advance automatically. Next, we'll look at adding transitions using Magic Move. 